at the Cypress here at the Embedded World Nuremberg. And who are you? Hi, I'm Augusto de Oliveira, Cypress Semiconductor CTO. And I have here our latest and greatest PSOC, PSOC 6. So this is the world's first unboxing. What are you showing here? We're showing our demo board for PSOC 6. Let me turn it around. <clears throat> PSOC 6 is our first member of our ultra low power secure and connected product for IoT. So it's a, it's a Cortex-M4 and a Cortex-M0 Plus. Uh, what is the design? What do you consider when you do this design? First and foremost, we consider power. We have uh, industrial leading power numbers uh, on a ultra-low power process and the ability to do dynamic voltage frequency scaling. So you can determine what frequency you want to run each core and then what voltage uh, that frequency uh, um, you need in order to save power. <clears throat> we also added a dedicated zero plus core to do low power housekeeping functions and implement state of the art security for this product. Cool. And, uh, hi, and who are you? Hi, my name is uh, Raul Hernandez, and I'm part of the product marketing team uh, that's you know dealing with the PSX6 and you know making it go broad. So is this going to ship as a development kit? What is this? So now that's a solution demo we created. So that's uh, it's a good and interesting way to show the characteristics uh, of the product. Now on this hand, what I have here is another first unboxing. This is our development kit, right? And with the ink. Yeah, that's right. We have following and, and tying along to our low power, uh, low power consumption story. We have an e-ink uh, display. Let me take it out. So basically, what this is, let me just unplug like this. This is our, our Arduino Arduino form factor. Another first. This is the first kit that ships with Type C USB. So we have our USB technology here. Type C USB, which are uh, clearly leaders in the industry. We have our programmer debugger at PSOC 5, uh, 5 LP, and then we have right here the PSOC 6. We have PSOC 6 with a PCB inboard antenna for the Bluetooth. We have uh, memory as well. We have our captions, the user interface with slider and buttons, and uh, then you all have of a that. screen. A super oh. cap on the back. So again, tying out to our, our low power story. And uh, the display that comes with it is, uh, as you say, it's an e-ink display. Nice, that's cool. So what's the, what's the secret sauce at Cypress? What, what makes your technology special? You have a special way of making, uh, <laughs> is it MCU, what do you call it? Well, we really, um, what has been special about Cypress is we are codifying the architecture and the platforms with leading uh, customers in their space so we get the features right. And we have years of experience as well on microcontrollers and architectural microcontrollers and a relentless focus on power. And we have then added this layer of security and connectivity in this latest product. And what does PSOC stand for? So a good thing that you ask. So I guess adding to that, PSOC stands for uh, Programmable System on a Chip. So it's something completely new, completely different. We've had it for some time now. So I, I guess that adds to the to the secret sauce and why, what makes uh, Cypress uh, stand out from the, so from it's the not, rest. So it's not an FPGA? It's not. A lot of people make that relationship because of the programmability. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot more, it, it adds to the, flexibi the flexibility. It's truly a differentiated microcontroller with programmable resources on both, both on the digital and analog side. So um, can do everything that the microcontroller does and more. So provides a unparalleled level of flexibility to our customers. Let's, let's jump over there. You have some demos, right? Uh, uh, what, are, what are you showing over here? So we have, we have different demos. This is our little wearable stand. This is where we have uh, the PSAC 6 display. We have some of the boards you've already seen. Some of these are connected. So I can even show you uh, the e-ink the display working, right? So we can go, we can navigate using our, our captions so technology. We have the part there. So there part of the kit, we include the kit features. We have the kit documentation, project installation. So it's, you know, it's, a full, it's a full system, right? Uh, we have the other one that we showed you as well. Our, 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 
solution, our solution kit with the fingerprints. So this is our, our PSOC 6 uh, station, we can say, for the, for the wearables and consumers. So how does security work? How did you implement that? Well, how does security work? That's a great question. Let me pull in Jaya. She's going to help sure. us as well explain Hi. this. Who are you? Hi, I'm Jaya. I'm Applications Manager at Cyprus. I work out of India team. And why we seek security, right? If you see IoT bus today, people are looking for security. And we have multiple level of security in PSOC 6 device. First, we have a crypto block. Uh, I would like to just show in the video so that you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the device, PSOC 6, that you see here. There are three levels of security. One is a crypto block, which is a hardware block. Then there is something called secure block. So I can see whether the application that I am running inside PSOC 6 device is authenticated or not, then only I will do certain next steps. So that is being taken care by secure boot. And if you see something here called serial memory interface, this is to interface the external memory. Uh, what happens when you interface with external memory is, if I store my application code inside the external memory, is it secure? People ask a question. In our case, we are proudly to say yes. The reason being, we have a crypto block inside SMIP who can actually encrypt that information before storing to external memory, and then you can decrypt it back when you use in the application code. So we have multiple level of security in the device. So this is hardware security yes. in the chip? Yes, it is hardware uh, security in the chip. It's a very big differentiator, right? Yes, it's a very big differentiator. Yeah, in this uh, day, uh, let's say day and age. But there, there's a lot of talk about security, it's a big deal. Yes. Yeah, right now, and it's very important to say, so P66 support that was built for the IoT level space, uh, every detail was taken into consideration to make it succeed in that uh, exploding market, right? So all of this are, are requests from our customers from the market trends and our own little vision of what's going to happen in that, in that space. Is it well. easy to develop stuff that works with the security? Oh, definitely yes. The reason being we have something called PSOC Creator Tool that is like Lego-based design, drag and drop component, double click and you're just ready to go with the stuff. Drag and drop, double click and then... Let me show you the tool right here. This is what you see here is PSOC Creator. And for example, behind you just go back, delete, it's there. Yeah. You just need to be here actually. So there are a lot of components if you see here. We have like 200 plus components available for you to play with. And what do the components do? Like different components help in components helps in configuring the particular IPs that we just showed in you. For example, capacitive touch sensing, BLE. So BLE if you see right, the protocol is of like thousands of pages. It takes time for you to learn the protocol. In our case, it's not true. So what you need to do is, as I just did in front of you, I will just say what component I need in my search block, which is really right here. And I will drag, drop, I can double click on it. I can just configure it whatsoever I want. Let me show you a powerful thing what we have done here. Hope the tool comes back. Yeah. This, this is why I have USB Type-C, because uh, you were talking about that you are the leader of USB Type-C, what, what do you mean by that? USB, USB Type-C. So the USB Type-C is uh, the, the new standard, we have a whole section dedicated to it. And basically it's a new connector, the whole pitch is the connector to rule them all. So it's basically one connector is going to be used for uh, image streaming, data, power, so we have HDMI to USB Type C. Is it? Uh, well, it's it's uh, it's data. It's power. So basically, the only connector you need for most of the application, laptop, phones, and all of that. And, uh, so it's already out there in like millions of devices. This is already going out. Yes, it's already it's, it's already out. We were the first one to market with it, and that of course has given us. Uh, a leadership position in that market as well. And sorry I interrupted, but you, you were just about to click, and then what is that? So, Does that mean it's done? No, that means that there are a lot of options for you to play with. For example, it comes with ready-made a lot of profiles for BLE, like Find Me. Find Me is nothing but I want to put a tag in my inside my key, purse, that are the common things I want to find. So what I need to do is I'll select Find Me here, and I say that I'm a guard, guard server. I just need to select the alert level whenever I see that, just give me a beep or I am go away from that device, give me a beep. So everything is inbuilt for you. You need not to even do any type of like coding is very, very minimal there. So uh, Cypress uh, does things differently? Yes. Yeah? The reason being, we, if you see for IoT especially, we are ultra low power, 
we are built for security we are in 40 nanometer technology that means we are, can go up to 22 micro amp per megahertz for m4 core that's really a big deal that's a big deal definitely yes. uh, innovators and game changers for sure but uh, uh, there was announced the cortex m33 and 23 are you doing stuff that they might be able to do but you do it already <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, but there is a security in hardware in a way that nobody else does. Oh yeah. Yes. So, so again, as you said, security it's it's happening all over, right? Uh, now there's uh, of course a compatibility story. We need to be able to to support what the market is is providing, but we also have to differentiate our products and provide what we think uh, it's the best to our customers. And I'll say one more point for PSOC, which is unique, is programmable analog and programmable digital. And we have really, really rich set of programmable analog devices. Like I have a lot of ADCs, uh, I2S, PDM mic, I have a lot of TCPWM and all those things. The device that you see here is rich of peripherals that we are really proud of to integrate them. And apart from that, we have capacitive touch interface integrated with BLE with MC. It's really a big plus. And uh, how much is this going to cost? What's the price uh, and when is it available? Uh, it's going to be available in September at Tuber time of frame and price you have to log into website to see it when Which it comes. Is, but you have uh, many uh, of these kind of... Uh, yeah, uh, these small little boards cost about $10. $10. These are prototyping kits. To get into PSAC 4. Yes. And then you have all kinds of these kind of uh, affordable... Yeah, PSAC yes. 4s, PSAC 5s. It's easy to ship, right? Yes, it's easy to ship. You can just tear it off and you can see inside there is a little board that you can play with. Nice. Thanks a lot for appearing enough for my video. That's cool. Sure. All right. No and then you have all these different kind of shapes. Yep. And we want to take one so that you can shoot later. Yep. That's cool. So the cool thing about this one as well is this is one of the small piece of course. It's got the, the capsules, the new technology capsules that we have with sliders. You can snap this board off. So you can use as uh, standalone capsules modules. And another cool thing is if you flip it, we have included a BLE module in it. So this is a little BLE module. Just connect to USB. So it's connected. It's connected through a communication port to the to the PC. But you can and you can program it. You can just plug it into your PC uh, through a USB and use our PSAC free PSAC creator to program it and interface. Uh, All right. So that's the latest PSAC here at Embedded World, and uh, uh, it's an IoT game changer. We'll see what people are going to do with it. Cool.